Hi, my name is Zoe and I donated stem cells back in 2017. I'm just going to share a bit about the donation process and why I to sign up. So I signed up when I was 16 at school because there was a guy that went to my school that needed a stem cell transplant and everyone else was signing up and I just thought it was a nice thing to do and it's quite easy. So all I had to do was spit into a pot. Nowadays it's even easier, you just do a swab of the inside of your cheek, fill out a form and then it gets sent off and you get put on the register. So onto the register I went and I completely forgot about it. And then about six months later, it was then um, days in between Christmas and New Year, you don't really know what day it is, kind of just floating around. I had an email from Anthony Nolan asking me to get in touch. So I got in touch and they said you're a potential match and they explained everything to me. To start with, I was quite apprehensive as I'd never had a blood test, wasn't a fan of needles, but I just thought what I was about to go through was nothing compared to my recipient who was facing a diagnosis of blood cancer or a blood disorder. So I agreed to go ahead and they sent a blood sample um, in the post. So I went and got that taken at my local hospital and then sent it back. And then a few weeks later, they rang to say that I was a really good match and I then went to London with my mum for the day um, to a specialist hospital um, where they just did a couple of checks just to check that everything was all right to go ahead. And then about a week later, they organised the donation. So there's two methods of donation. 90% of the time is through peripheral blood stem cell collection. So um, the stem cells are taken from your blood. Um, it's a bit like giving blood. So a few days prior, a nurse will come to your home and give you an injection, which stimulates your body to produce more stem cells. You then go to the hospital and you're connected up to a machine and your blood's taken out of one arm, goes through a machine, the stem cells separate and it goes back into the other arm. And this normally just takes the day. And some people feel a bit tired, but after that, they're fine. And the next day, they're back to normal life. Um, but in 10% of cases, um, they donate through bone marrow. So my recipient was a little child, so they requested bone marrow. So the day before I went up to the specialist hospital in London, um, my mum stayed in the hotel and I stayed in the hospital. And early the next morning, I underwent a quick procedure under general anaesthetic where they took bone marrow from my hips. Um, I woke up, there was the most amazing food. Um, a volunteer came to say thank you and what amazing thing it was. And then I stayed in that night and then the next day I went home. I was a little bit achy and tired, but this was just as my body was like naturally replacing the stem cells that were taken. And about a week later, I was back at school absolutely fine and back to normal. I just thought this was such a small thing to do, considering it could potentially save someone's life. So meanwhile, my bone marrow had been shipped off to my recipient wherever they are in the world, and they would have had their immune system wiped out, ready for my stem cells to kickstart their immune system. Um, due to certain reasons, you're not allowed contact for two years between recipient and donor. Um, however, after two years, if both parties agree, you can have contact. Unfortunately, due to where my recipient was, the transplant centre rules mean that I can't have contact. However, about nine months after my donation, I got a letter to say that it had been a success and that my patient was alive and doing well, which was really nice to hear. So I would encourage you to sign up to the stem cell register. It's such a quick simple and easy thing to do and it can literally save someone's life the chances are you might not ever be a match but just being on the reward on the register is such a rewarding feeling and if you were ever a match Anthony Nealon were amazing at organizing everything around you so I donated just before my A-levels which was a bit of a scary time however it all, was all so smoothly organized and um, I couldn't thank them enough and um, and I just think it's amazing how one small bag of stem cells can literally save someone's life. And then this allows them to go on to lead a happy and healthy life and make like memories with their family and friends. And I can honestly say it's the best and the most rewarding thing that I have ever done. So at the moment, when you have the most time on your hands, do something amazing and join the stem cell register to become a potential lifesaver. Thank you.